There is no question to whether the 7800X 3D is the best gaming CPU, but the question is, does it run better on Windows or Linux operating system? While there is no doubt in Windows being overall a better OS for gaming, Linux also has some advantages over the former in some games and possibly in productivity too. Now most users prefer Windows over other operating systems as it is easier for them to adapt to the newer version. This is because most of us have been using Windows since our childhood but this also resulted in having us ignore how good the other operating systems might be. In the recent tests performed by Foronix, things are looking in favor of Linux OS when the 7800X 3D is used in CPU oriented applications. Let's see how much performance difference both OS have but before that, make sure to subscribe to the channel to never miss any latest stories like this. Foronix tested the CPU on both Linux Ubuntu 23.04 and Windows 11 and while 80 tests were conducted on both operating systems, Ubuntu came out at the top by winning 58 out of all tests which translates to 72.5% wins over the Windows 11. The geometric mean of all tests came out in favor of Ubuntu which was 7% faster on average. What is interesting is that when we analyze the individual tests, both operating systems have wins over each other either by a small or a big margin. While Windows 11 mostly won in rendering tests like Blender, Ryzen 7800X 3D heavily favored Ubuntu in image and coding tests and the difference was pretty huge in some areas. This shows that while Ubuntu might not be as good as Windows in gaming, it is definitely ahead in specific workloads by a significant margin which could easily be one of the reasons for some users to switch to Linux operating systems. Still, for many users, Windows might be the appropriate operating system for various reasons but the fact that Linux OS are free of cost makes them worth giving a try. But this is not the only interesting stuff to see today because Nvidia is now cutting its RTX 40 GPU prices below the MSRP. Even though most cards are still above the official price, it is reported that Nvidia is providing rebates to its partners so that they can sell their GPUs for a lower cost. Of course, this is very much needed considering the poor sales of the RTX 40 GPUs, but Nvidia might need to lower the costs even further. Recently, it was seen that many RTX 4080 GPUs were below $1200 even though they were originally launched for at least $5200 more than the Founders Edition. As I upload this video, some GPUs are still below MSRP in some retail stores like the Gigabyte RTX 4080 Gaming OC which is currently at 1169 on Amazon and the Eagle Edition which is at 1149 on Newegg. The same is true when we check the prices of AMD's RX 7000 GPUs. Even though there are just two GPUs officially in the market, some RX 7900 XT X cards are $50 cheaper than their MSRP. And the RX 7900 XT GPU that was launched for $900 can be bought for as low as $809. Of course, these prices might not be ideal for many, but if you want to claim these discounts, you can buy one of them through my affiliate links provided in the description. And lastly, good news if you own any of the latest gen GPUs as MSI Afterburner just got its newest stable update 4.6.5. If you have been following Afterburner's development, the software which was developed by a Russian developer Alexei wasn't getting any stable releases since 2019. Even though there were a few beta updates since that time, it did not support the RTX 40 or RX 7000 GPUs natively. The reason was the ongoing war between Ukraine and Russia due to which the developer was not getting paid by MSI for for the whole year. Now, as I assume that the matter is settled, the latest software update is available to download from Guru3D. With this stable update, not only the RTX 40 and RX 7900 GPUs got official support, but Intel Arc GPUs are now officially supported for monitoring their stats. Even though the overclocking capability of Arc GPUs is yet to be unlocked in this tool, I am sure that it is not far from now that no matter what GPU you own, you will be able to overclock your card from a single and probably the most popular overclocking software of all time. Not only that but the new update also added support for Intel's 13th gen and AMD's Ryzen 7000 CPUs. This means that you can now also monitor the stats of these CPUs while you're inside your game. There are even more improvements introduced in the latest version that include several bug fixes and the addition of several small functions as well. This couldn't get better as MSI Afterburner is my favorite personal tool to overclock my GPU and I always use it in games to monitor the stats like hardware usage, temperatures and power consumption. Let me know your favorite overclocking tool in the comments below. Hit the like button if you found the video informative and subscribe for more regular stories like this. Make sure to turn on the notifications to never miss any new uploads to the channel and I will see you in the next one.